Hi everybody, my name is Wes and I'm the artist. I'm watching this video with you and just going to comment on what I'm thinking and doing during this video. Um, this is a painting of a blackbird. And I just kind of started off forming the shape of the bird in general, not worried too much about the details. Um, just kind of laying it out and making sure I'm happy with how it sits on the canvas, um, how it's framed, whether it's too big or too small, that kind of thing. And since I went with kind of a blue tone to the bird, I'm laying down kind of the complement of blue, which is orange, in the background. Uh, it's a good way to set off the foreground to make it pop, make it stand out a little more. So I'm trying this out. Um, as you'll see going forward, the biggest part of my painting process is experimentation and trying things out, trying paint out on the canvas, seeing how it works with the rest of the of the colors and and making changes as I need to. Sometimes I get it right the first time. Oftentimes it's a process. It takes time to to end up with the right color or the right shape. Uh, I'm, I, I usually work from photographs and I'm looking at one during this as well. And um, it's a blackbird, but uh, I end up painting the the shape of a like a little. It's a little too squat, a little too fat of a bird compared to the reference photo. And for a little while there, I think about uh, just changing it on the canvas to a sparrow or something like that, something smaller. But in the end, I, I return back to the blackbird as it was. And here you see I'm, I'm just trying out different colors in the background. Uh, changing the orange because I didn't quite like the unnaturalness of the orange look. So I'm trying out yellow and lighter colors like that. Then coming back to it after it dried, I decided to go back to this orange with a little more white added, so it's a slightly peach colored orange. Just to try out, and as you can see, I'm kind of laying it in fairly flat, uh, where you don't see as much paint stroke and mixing, and just to try try that out. Anything would work, and looking at it now, it, it could have just as well been this style but I do end up changing it here soon because I wasn't happy with it in the moment. I preferred the more yellow look at the time. You may wonder why I'm make, taking so much time with this abstract background, which could be anything in the end. Uh, and it's mainly... A, a kind of a way of putting off the main subject, the main focus of the painting. Uh, not doing the detail work of the bird until I'm ready. Uh, I don't know if it's a psychological thing or if it's just uh, me wanting to get the background right before moving on, but uh, in a way, because the background kind of the abstract nature of the background is quite subjective and in a way that makes it easier because whatever you're happy with is good enough for the painting. Uh, this time I kind of hit upon this 
idea of the paint strokes kind of coming away from the bird as if there's sun light beaming behind the bird. And I, I stick with that pretty much. I try not to make it too overt, you know, so I'm decreasing a little bit of it, but it, I think it, it shows in the end product just right. But again, it, it really is all subjective. Um, you just try to do the best you can and get it to look the way you, you have in your mind or, or get your mind around what you're creating on the canvas one way or the other. Started out of the adding the lighter tones to the bird, but I had a little too much brown, a little too much yellow on my on my brush, so it turned out just brown. But as I said before, I was kind of thinking it looks more like a sparrow anyway, so I was kind of angling towards a sparrow. These red marks and adding, you know, these pink and red to the background as well. It's just a way for me to balance out the painting kind of because I had so much red in the background I want some of that to appear in the bird at least a bit so I'll end up adding it and then coming back over and muting and covering up a lot of it where I don't want it in the finished product but it's part of the just part of the process that I go through. Still using my big brush. Um, not, not too concerned with detail work until the very end. I call this kind of the ugly phase of the painting. There all, there's always a phase where I go into the main subject with almost irrational colors, just blobs of red or yellow here and there. And that's just a way for me to mess up the painting in order to fix it again. And in the fixing, it changes slightly and becomes something a little more interesting. And that's the main purpose of all that. Adding back the shadows and the dark parts of the bird. Probably also deciding in the moment that I will return it back to its blackbird nature <laughs> from the photo. Here I'm adding the highlights and uh, covering over some of the red, that unnatural red. Sometimes when you add highlights to a, especially black, uh, bird or dog or cat, sometimes it can come off a little too much and you have to end up uh, muting it back down. Um, by too much, I mean too bright. Like it is right now, it's slightly bright. looks unnatural, but um, with acrylics, you kind of have a process of laying down paint, letting it dry, and then painting, it, painting over again as opposed to oil paints, which are, you know, it takes longer for them to dry, so you end up uh, mixing colors a lot on your canvas. You do a bit here, but only if you go back in quickly before it dries. Going back into the background here, just to correct and adjust some of the foreground images by, you know, carving out from the background. Also switched to my little, I don't know, half inch, quarter inch uh, brush, which is, I, I basically use three brushes, this little br brush, the larger, what, inch and a half brush, and then uh, a liner brush, which is just a small brush, unless it's a giant canvas, in which case I'll, I'll get out just a big painter's brush to use.
emphasizing the the directionality of the background and adding more colors to hopefully add more interest to the background. At this point in the painting I am starting to enjoy it a little more. I don't like all my paintings and not all my paintings end up uh, as a finished painting. If something that doesn't work you paint over it uh, if you can't fix it somehow. One little trick with backgrounds, especially if it's not part of the main point of the painting, is uh, to lay in the colors uh, brightly. You know, make some bold choices there, and then you can always mute the colors you don't like, or adjust them, or paint over them with different colors. It's kind of the way I go about it. Using my liner brush now, adding in lines, which is kind of what it's good at. Adding back a bit of that blue wash to the bird, just to make it stand out a little more from the background. By the way, this is a, a red-winged blackbird, and I'm saving it, that red, red and yellow part of the wing, just at the very end of the painting process. And actually, I've, I've lost a bit of the video of the final details, but uh, here's the finished product right here. And it worked out well. I like the little bits of, gr of uh, cool gray that I added around the edges too. I like how it kind of makes it a finished piece. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the painting process. My name's Wes, and uh, join me next time. Subscribe, click like. Thanks.